right now. Let me put it here. You know, I see you sitting um, on this bright, bright, almost like unrealistically yellow, very bright yellow sand and the waves at the beach. The uh, plants are very interesting. I don't see palm trees around. I actually see some interesting. It's plants are more like aloe vera, but they are they're kind of yellowish, yellowish with the orange auras, and they're curving. It which reminds me kind of like the painting Starry Night, but it goes like that. But but if as if they were curving in. Um, and I see the sun. It feels the sun feels like a reflection from the water in the sky. The sky is like an interesting uh, texture. It's energy, it's sentient. I can talk to it, it responds, it can form different faces. It's moldable. And it reflects, it reflects the uh, galaxy. It's like a pinwheel galaxy. So basically the beach is inside your energy sphere. Um, as if you're not sitting at your desk right now, but sitting um, at the beach and you're like hugging your knees and looking at the water, the waves coming in and out in reflection position. And I hear you say, I just want to be left alone. <laughs> just want to be left alone. You just, you don't want anybody. You just want the freshness of the wind and the freedom it brings. And it's like half of your energy sphere is stuck in the matrix. It's like somebody put like a hole and stuck half of it in there because your energy sphere is like two halves. There is a matrix. And the left one, your right, is in that at this beach connected to this um, pinwheel galaxy, you call it. And it's actually a planet. The beach is on the planet. Um, the ocean looks like coral orange color. And it has very interesting like uh, amber, but amber is not transparent. Uh, this ones are absolutely transparent. You can look through them. Um, crystalline houses under the water. There's so many of them. Their beings live in them. And the beings look like they have whiskers. They have fish um, faces. And they have, they actually, they have their legs, but they sway, they swing them, they connect them. And they start doing like, like that, like a tail uh, motion, but their bodies are so flexible. It's amazing. They go like as if there's no bone structure, like a snake. Like, um, this it's it sounds like a fairy tale uh, kind of like structures because you know those cone uh, shells. That's how the um, buildings look like, and the tips uh, have openings, and they um like. They stick out a little bit above the water and they produce these little bubbles and the bubbles go into atmosphere. 
and it's like coral orangey kind of color bubbles. Okay. They um, uh, it's like energetically. They cause expansion of the um, this uh, this galaxy. They contribute to its expansion energetically, because I feel like it's like that galaxy expands thanks to the energies produced by all the uh, stars uh, in the constellation. You know, that big bear constellation. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty fascinating, all those things, how they are twisting. And, and there's like, there's so many beautiful colors. It's like very warm. But and then I see you're showing that there's another planet there. This one is bluish blue. It's another beach, but it has a lot of trees and the um, swings in between the trees. And there is a lot of children there. And you're one of the children. You're a girl with very long hair. It's swinging in the air. And you're saying that, well, we actually born from parents, but we come here. It's like, it's like a school, but we like being together because we like growing separately some periods of time from our parents. Like that's a natural course of events. Then we just come together as groups of children from that planet you just saw when we are born to progress and mature here and we like become friends and we just don't have this mm, very deep connection with our parents it's like a natural course of event because we're also connected to them telepathically and we never feel alone but it's it's like a big playroom this planet is it's like a it comes to me like it's a binary star or something just came and uh you just go back and forth but there's also everybody picks at some point when you reach let's say but you reach it very quickly the maturity aspect you know um so you mature in your knowledge and your it's like through interaction with others is you get different knowledge because every soul in the child's body has different etheric dna and that the DNA holds different experiences by playing together and touching each other and swinging each other and all this you exchange the knowledge and experiences so you become mature and like adults you consider yourself adults and then you decide what you can do next and then comes to me that blu-ray alliance I don't know what it is. Let me see. It's like you decide to join the Blue Ray Alliance. Indigo souls coming to Earth to bring in knowledge to form resistance to take the filters off of human eyes, human mind, the perception. It's like to change the frequencies by changing the frequency, you change the perception. By changing the perception, you must wake up because you don't resonate with your old beliefs anymore. And that's what you came here to do. It's called the Blue Ray Alliance because it's like a blue beam of souls of, of coming here 
it's like they form together as a collective. This sh blue shooting um, looks like a comet, like like a big ball <laughs> composed of different souls, but they're blue in color, and they almost like pierce through the space, and they leave this almost like bluish tail <laughs> behind. And uh, it's really beautiful, but you develop the speed. Um, you say it's faster than a speed of light because you are, you say you, you show me a pyramid of light, like a prism, and you say that, well, that's, that's what the percentage is. It's built into a prism, into a pyramid on Earth. That's how they created the whole um, energetic level that we're all inside the big, huge, giant pyramid. If you want to change it, you have to make the pyramid open up. And when you open up, it's really interesting how you're showing it to me, because if I look from up to down, the pyramid opens, there's three, right? And it looks like, um. You know that sim symbol of a man like standing with his, this is like this. It looks exactly like this, like, da Vinci. like this. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, wow. that's, a, that's a sign. It's like you open, you yes. know, there's nothing holding you. There's a spectrum of light that we're caught inside, like in a prison uh, is not, not 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 there anymore so you can the limits are broken the the barrier is broken therefore all the barriers are broken physical and non-physical um so you said that you came here with lots and lots of souls you show me the uh two thousand souls that was your batch your kind of that you call yourself blue ray and um blue ray kind of like expedition you laughingly say um and you voluntarily came some souls didn't want to come others others did and it's not only if you're from your star it's from others too from all the parts of the galaxy i don't know what noise it is do you hear the noise yes yeah i don't know what it is but if you can maybe mute the microphone for okay thanks oh yeah when you want to talk you can mute um but thanks so you all formed this group and you call yourself the um, the alliance of like a Blu-ray alliance. And I just see the symbology of it. It's, it's really like a beautiful figure of this blue human being. Um, and it looks like it's a symbology that related to Earth also because it's a water planet and the, 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 the blue color is like the color of water. Um, so 48 lives, this is 48, and you're saying that you actually jumped back and forth from hologram to another hologram, um, you actually saying, well, to explain, it's like a projection, there are different projections of Earth. Uh, you went to a projection first where you had, it's like Earth as a multi-international school of knowledge brought by different uh, beings from different galaxies, from different universes. Anybody who wants to come is allowed to come. I see like um, Earth is all water. There is a, just one continent and I'm actually kind of flying around it. Um, it looks amazing. It looks like the, um, 
the castle's made out of it's not white but it's something like warm beige or cream color um i don't really know the material what it is but it's, it's similar to marble but it's not marble because it's porous it's almost like from derived from the ocean and put on top of the land and um and I feel like the land is suspended from the ocean, like it's built out wire. There's like artificially created this expansion, but it's it's also like it's a vortex of energy that holds the island on top. Uh, there's lots of castles, and they're all like Gothic type style castles, and but they're kind of like rounded towers connected through tunneling systems, and it's like the um, there's like an uh, let's say I can call it industrial center where they create different uh, things uh, I see them uh, they fly on some interesting things it looks like imagine like an old-fashioned slant <laughs> but without the um, um, you know it kind of looks like a carpet like in Aladdin, right? The carpet by kind of curves. Um, material is very f um, interesting looking. It looks like a soft, very soft metal uh, that you just sit on it and it flies. It's composed of like two layers, one layer, the other layer, and in between the airflow goes, but it's got some fibers also. It's all over. It's in between two layers and on the sides. And with this, you, you can actually tilt your body and in to the left and will go to the left like you, you you control it like that but then you also communicate with it through your consciousness and you tell it where to go i mean i see like all over the place they're flying and there's some technology built in that there's no way you can crash into each other because there's some electromagnetic field around that thing that that is created and it's like mm, like those bouncy cars that when you sit, you know, that like you would air bounce off of each other so you would not hurt each other. And you avoid like, <laughs> it's it's really beautiful. There are different colors too. Um, and uh, there are dragons flying with people. But people are like white, white skin, very long, uh, like torso and body and very long hands and long fingers almost like piano player you know those fingers um very long yeah i mean they're, they're much taller they're like twice as tall as um average human would be so probably like eight nine feet tall but they're friends with all these creatures. I mean, I literally see like unicorns walking around and the interesting kind of wolves or dogs, but um, they're brown looking. It looks like a German shepherd, but very smart, so sweet like eyes, like kind, different from German shepherd look, but the shape wise, and um, the brown hair cur curls. It's like in twirls. It, it's, it's, it's curled. Uh, and when you when I touch it, it gives me a f like um, like a warm. It it almost gives me um, an emotion of calmness and love or something. I mean, the, this is like a very high vibrational place to be. It's it's only it's in between fifth and sixth dimension, but you can still vibrate at different levels here. It's like fourth, fifth, and sixth combined. Uh, that's the only way I can explain because it looks very interesting. It's like different um, layers of light. Um, and in different layers, uh, depending on your perception and your consciousness level, you would see or not see, but that's all exists. And then 
but that's a way for you to it's like a stimulant like a um, catalyst for your understanding that you have to grow an understanding and then or practice also your vision and abilities and you could see more so it's a fun place to be but then you incarnate what you do there let's see what you do there I didn't really find you yet. We're just focusing on this. I see a house there. I see like it's not it's it's like a tower, but it's it's small. But you know how they're built. So there is like main towers and there are eight of them. There's one in the middle, seven on the sides, like a circle. And then so each one has there's like arts tower a library more technical you know um creation different types of creation towers that's what i get it depends what you're interested in uh i see a home it's it's like a totally round big room it has like a glass walls um very thick glass walls in between and there's like some sparkles almost like the sparkles um uh, in 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 the middle of them and they change energy they oh i understand it depends like it's kind of like this sometimes you work too much on your creations and you need to take time i think when you don't really sleep there but when you take time for yourself you actually when you reflect on things you uh, gain more it's like you you expand in imagination so the walls when they go green it means you're high in imagination levels when they go kind of like yellow into red that's that's like a red flag that you need to go and take time for yourself <laughs> that you're giving too much on your um dealing with others or uh, giving away too much energy but not receiving but not um, working on yourself it's almost like you need a time for yourself type thing um that's an interesting construction it's like your own house reflects your inner um how you are inside your state of mind body emotionally mentally physically all of it and your physically you're like very flexible energy you can detach your arm for a second put it back look inside what's going on fix it um, with your just hands focusing your energy through your fingers or hands different um humans do it differently and put it back so i don't feel like there's any um clinics or anything so it's like there's no there's no sickness there at all everybody knows what to do and how to do it how to take care of yourself uh, you leave eh, usually 200, 300 years there. And you say sometimes even 400 is possible if you really want to. But normally we would not want to do it. Um, what pushed you for the incarnation to the 3D? Because this is a really beautiful place. But you understood that living there, um, you could not really influence influence the 3d yeah um and 3d has a different set of um rules of physics rules of everything the um those light um, the energetic frequency layers are different it's only one instead of few um why one because the other ones are kind of got separated from the physical one they created an artificially created a buffer zone so people cannot connect to elementals and all other life that exists and you wanted to bring the knowledge in because you felt like you were bursting with knowledge 
and that's what so all this like this is all this 47 lives before this one that also includes that live and that earth projection um because they also see different aliens there's blue skinned ones there's purple skinned ones there's yellow skinned ones <laughs> there's so many on this one that you've been to before and then you come to this one to this life you pick your own family I actually saw like quickly like you're an elephant like a little boy and then you're a girl in with the camels feeding the camels I see the pyramids Gaza Strip comes to me well those are nice lives as I understand the one with the um on the elephant is very nice the, if they were your friends you really enjoyed them that that was life in India but it's more reminds me like the jungle book it's like you, you would talk to animals you could they would speak to you they were they were your friends you were not looking for friends in the village um human ones but you were more connected to animals because they would resemble um uh, frequency wise uh, those beings from different dimensions that you experienced and dealt with um in that other earth projection that's why I mean you liked it's like a jungle book like you're talking to snake and you, you talk to anybody you have no fear and because you have no fear they don't do anything to you you're like one of them and then this life was a camel it was more that's when the thing started changing and you knew something is happening because manipulation started happening and you saw Lyrans coming, those uh, wolfman people or dogman people coming, humanoid kind of, you call them people. Mm. And you felt like it was uh, a deception that the villagers would say, oh, but they bring us knowledge, they're good. You always felt like it was something wrong with the whole thing because you lived a perfect calm life and all of a sudden you feel energetically like hurricane is coming like tornadoes coming or something like this and they're just shaking the structure shaking the uh, old knowledge uh, challenging it trying to impose new knowledge on you and um, it's it's almost like different beings would want to put their own mm, knowledge in the heads of humans, almost like fighting for who's going to be here in control. I can understand that, but that li life is as a um, as a wise man comes to me. I'm trying to get the name because as age like Shuri, Shur, Shurni, like that. That's a name. Um. Well, that's the second life there. So first is when I go a girl one. Uh, then you transition into when you die. You decide to come right back and you come right back as a wise man on that journey. The girl's name was Monty before. And then the minute you want, you incarnate back. Uh, so you don't jump over any time here, the same timeline to continue watching what's going to happen. You feel like energetically Earth changes, they restructure everything. Um, the electromagnetic fields, all those ley lines, 
they take on energy in some spots and you feel like they're depleted of it energetically and people are starting to get like living by some rules by some like having some paradigms or templates um in their heads how life should be how everybody else is doing more like a um, beehive kind of idea of living uh, and before everybody was kind of separate but yet feeling the unity but now they stopped feeling the unity they start feeling more like caring for themselves first rather than collective type thing um, I see you writing a lot of books, illustrating them, and I see they're uh, buried. There's some interesting, um, it's like caves of crystals in that area. They're white transparent crystals, and there is a lot of books buried in some, mm, it almost looks like, look like treasure chest with two um, handles on the sides. And there are quite a few books buried there that that are still there Shondri. like they call you shondri or... and you just died at 91 from an old age but you're tired you come out and you wander around because you feel like you can heal people with knowledge you can give them part of you. And I also see how you talk to disincarnated people or sometimes you walk around and find some um, energetic body living his, its physical body. And when they don't know where to go, you clearly see all the holographic um, spaces and traps. Uh, platforms where souls go and you catch them in between going there and tell give them knowledge if they're ready to accept it so you wonder what comes to me for five years in in that the like wise person <clears throat> and then I see a reptilian uh, look, looks almost like, a, let me touch, exactly like a crocodile because like a white, shiny kind of front, the green on the back, the very kind of like elongated face, rather kind of sharp, a reptilian eyes. He finds you, say, says that you you didn't get out on time from here. And you actually say, no, I know better. I can come out anytime I want. And he says, well, try to do it now. And by by saying try to do it now, you get like a little tiny doubt in your head. Like I feel like I mm, actually see like a light, 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 uh, white, transparent, transparent like bubble in your head. It's a bubble of doubt. And when you go fast up, you bounce off the uh, layers. Um, the layers go like this, like like lots of lots of rainbows, but they all connect into a big dome. The what what we call a dome. And you come right back, and uh, at that point, you just um you start doubting yourself that you still have the abilities or you can get out of here because. Something changed energetically. In reality, what happened to you is you absorbed, you helped a lot of souls to transition. And in that helping, you absorbed a lot of sorrow and a tragedy, a traumatic kind of sadness and all kinds of negative feelings that the souls had. Um, but... Because you didn't really know the frequencies of those feelings, you didn't know how to mm, either digest them and take them, you know, pull them out of you or get rid of them. How do you transform them? Because it's easy, you can transform, but you didn't really know how to do it. 
that you only have to wish and be aware that you need to to get rid of them instead you kept like keeping them you know what i see it's like all of a sudden i see you in your energy sphere when you get up you are in this dress almost looks looks like one of the rembrandt paintings with like a big big um mm, skirt fluffy and you say you, that you put all this negative feelings of sorrow mm, sensitivity feeling sorry for yourself for others for sometimes you feel desperate and um, sometimes you just feel too sensitive um and it's uh, understanding is there but it, it's still like you're too sensitive to just let it go so basically you put it in that skirt it's it, this skirt is like an energy created around you to protect you basically uh, but it does still affect your digestive system because it's sitting right on the waist and it's kind of um, pushing you down. Like you feel kind of heavy uh, that way um, energetically body type. Um, um, it just, you know, it's not your natural state. Your natural state is like the child and the swing on that, on that star, just constantly swinging and being in the flow. But here, it's so different. So, and then that reptilian did get connected to you. Got attached to you. Through a tail. I see the strange thing going on. Mm, it's almost like an artificially designed, um, let's see, like a spiral. The spiral goes from, so just to explain, so there's like a projector above your head and it's, sometimes it turns it on, sometimes it's off. I see it like totally like a, like a projector they use for movies or to shine the light. If he wants you, you to get heated up, he would turn it on emotionally, adrenaline, all this you know, hormones, and then he turns it off. But then there is this thing, it starts right here, it goes like down, like a spiral, like a wire, let's say, right, around the body, passes the arms, but under the armpits, and then it weirdly spins where the skirt begins. It's almost like you try to protect yourself there too, down there too, by that skirt, because it kind of like wraps around you it almost looks like a tail and just goes into space but you know what he did he actually connected the end of the spiral to that orange planet you call it chi there's like c c h i like a star where your parents live where you were born goes there because you're an adult now you are actually in that in that life <laughs> i'm trying to understand how is that that i see you still there living a life as an adult having your own children but it's like you you energetically you have this ability there's something about it's almost like a mirror technology building into you, which you can, it's like a stardust. <laughs> I don't know. Imagine you produce dandelion when you on it and the stardust comes off of you and it molds a body. It, it's, um, it doubles your consciousness. It's like a, um, replicates your consciousness and you can have it connect still connected to you there but incarnated on earth and he used that ability that you have you know you also do you actually you can easily mirror people you feel them so deeply at the deep level you um 
mirror mirror their gesticulations, uh, their facial, their everything. I mean, the way they talk, you, you get in tune quickly. I mean, that, that that's your ability. And uh, the reason why the cord is going to that orange star is because he's, he's getting energy from you over there and also information, how your life is there, how you do everything, because you, you have amazing technology there. I just uh, see, see, see some interesting things. Not only the flying things and different kinds of machines that fly, but also other things uh, that you do with um, uh, sound, light, waves combined, creating things out of them, programming energy waves that come from space and uh, retracting or re um, mirroring them back into space so they can produce something new and exciting or maybe even a new galaxy or a new star for to expand and um, he does that. He's got a boss. He was sent here to. I see his boss now showed up. Got this uh, hat. Look, a German looking hat was the eagle. It was a German eagle. He's got this. He got you, you know, he's got a uniform on him, too. But this this guy doesn't. But but his chef does his boss. <laughs> And he says, well, why did you call me? I'm multitasking. But what you did, you just froze him. You put him in some sort of cone structure. And you put his, yeah, it's just like, he's like a um, soldier in training of some sort. Uh, this one is a commander. But he operates from Mars, from underground Mars. I see some sort of cave system and I see his office, I see his desk. <laughs> I see something, it almost looks like an old typing machine, but it's not. It's something different. He has a crystal inside. <sighs> so, um, you are, what you're doing now, you're restructuring your energy sphere. I see it's like you got rid of that side that was artificially created and you just expand um, um, you expand that side where um, the ocean and the sand and you're sitting there and uh, you took you take in, you took off the projector you call it fake sun you open a portal throw it out there the coil the uh, spiral metallic one you take it off of your body it's somehow how head like it's like forks of some sort that fixated onto your body too um, the forks, like tuning forks, they were creating, you know, imagine chakras, right? Like the the, the, this, the the chakra system that they draw, but each one had a fork on both sides, creating some electromagnetic field that would disrupt. But with that projector that goes through you like a prism of light, like a prism of light, you could activate one... <clears throat> like a chakra, let's call it chakra center, or like I see like a circle of energy, uh, activate one or the other, so he can manipulate you energetically, and maybe take more energy from this part of the body or that one for himself. Because he also, um, he says he only takes 12% of energy, the other 32 he gives to his boss, because the cord goes into two, splits into two, one connected to the chi, whatever star, and then the other one to Mars. So you got you cut it off. It's like garden scissors and uh, 
as I said, yeah, you're throwing it out too. And th those um, forks are got uh, disconnected. They, you took them all out. There's seven of them that I see in the body that you took out. You threw them out. The skirt, uh, you just you you just burned it. <laughs> You took it off, but it's an energy thing. And it's like, it looks like a ball of, of fire. And you were thinking what to do with it. I told you you could transform it or throw it out. But you said, I'm just going to burn it into one little piece of like a sand piece. And you burned it down to one little tiny crumb, almost like looking thing. <clears throat> and you threw it out also. And I see when you got throughout the skirt, you, your body almost like it's shape shifted into much taller body, like your original body. Um, so you look, look much taller, but you do have this blue soul, like, like eyes and, um, and this white skin. And very long hair, like the girl there. Well, you have this uh, different things that you've been interested in. Um, you you you, per you learned how to use energies to do different things, to create through your creation and the light. Um, tone of light which we call color combination it can provide healing abilities too to those who absorb it uh, um, absorb it and observe it <laughs> so if you like let's say create a little animal that looks like this interesting <laughs> it's almost like a big big large bird it's yellow with uh, orange dots, like like a elongated oval dots all over the place. Looks like a flamingo thing or an ostrich. Um, so that orange can brighten up places. Like you can sand it. You, that's what you do at night. You create different uh, beings or animals and you send them to give them a direction like you give them like a program almost like go to either children or adults who experience dark dreams and brighten up their dreams or disrupt or disrupt the uh, workings of AI technology that sends them the dreams that's basically what you I see you too um you like create all kinds of uh, different um you're not you're not into technology on your star, but more into creation of um, creatures, different creatures. You, you're curious. Sometimes your creatures have even four wings or, you know, you, you also get the knowledge from that Earth projection that had different uh, humanoid forms because some of them even have a few pairs of hands, uh, arms, I mean, um, different color skin and you know some of them even have kind of interesting hair that's used for different um, purposes so you just like collect all the knowledge and you put it into your creations um, the the um, reptilian type I mean he signed a you signed a contract I know what this old typing machine is for it's uh, crystal he has the contracts um by clicking some buttons that is just like dots it just just like like our phones um you can print out um paper copy of a contract which is actually uh held uh inside the crystal inside that machine it's like a printer i i see that your contract is being printed out right now because you ordered them to bring it to you uh, so there is um bird Eagle, eagle-like being, brings brings it, take it, look at it. It's kind of interesting. It looks like a white paper, but 
it's it's multi-structured like when i look at this side is all also like multicolored kind of structure like layered um glass but, but then it's uh, it's got the um multicolored light 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 to it like um like they keep talking about prism of light and how it keeps all the colors together since the beginning of the session like your subconscious keeps talking about it and how you have to open the prism of light to activate it and to absorb more light and to that that's how you can widen your perception and start reading other bands of light and uh, decoding them uh, that that's a knowledge that you brought here um, to share <sighs> Yeah, you just kind of make a big ball uh, out of this paper. I can't even call it paper. It feels like funny material, like um, clay. And, uh, and then you just melt it with a match. It's like an old match that you um, burn it with. You ignite fire, it melts and uh, melts into some just 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 a piece of something i don't know um so you throw it out contract is gone and then you come to that where they keep that machine you touch the crystal and say you deactivate and erase your file from the crystal you just use your finger to do that, come back to your energy sphere, check on your DNA. Oh, they cannot, they could not touch your DNA. By the way, your DNA is exactly like the number of your lives, 48. It's, oh, I understand why. In reality, you have many more strands, but because you project, because it's your projection, you have this, um, I, it's like a multi-layered energy. When you have a lot of energy, you can actually create a solid projection of yourself in a solid reality, like we are in. And that's why you each life you created or, a single each life created you created in each life a single strand of dna so there are 48 of them all together but there was your protection plan to so they cannot mutate it or they cannot make clones or hybrids out of you um that's like a defense system built in that you came up with knowing where you were going and the last step, you're just like going through some arc. You created like a rainbow type arc and you're walking through it and all the lights are shining at you and they're cleansing your all the four of your energy bodies, like emotional, mental, and the main ones are being cleansed down with all this. It just like dissipate, dissipate and they get clean. And uh, so you take this, it just, it, it goes into, it turns into multiple multicolored balloons and just flies out into space. And you open a portal and order the boss and his um, soldier, he calls him, out. I see them going back to Mars. This boss is very aggravated too. I think he is losing a lot of people these days. So, yeah, you did the cleaning and everything. You got disconnected from everything. You can ask questions or we can do a separate video with your questions if you want. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> Blown away. I've never heard anything like this in my life. I mean, this is all just new concepts to me. It's amazing. Yeah, it's interesting. I learn every time myself. Yeah, I, just, I can't even believe it. Sure, that'd be great to um, go on to my additional questions. That'd be great. 
Okay, let me turn it off.